update on my thoughts on stuff. First off, in my dealings with the Linux community, so this is going to be more of a top five video. Top five reasons I dislike the Linux community and Linux distros in general. Now this will catch me some flame, but these are done in order to help Linux use, you know, elitist Linux, Linux users understand where new users are coming from. I claim to be neither. I claim to be more of an in-between user. Just saying. So, first off, this video is being done in Linux. I'm using Cheese, Istanbul, GTK, Record, and the video editor is being used, Arcade and Live, and OpenShot. So, that cannot be said that I am doing this because I am on Windows or OS X. That is not the case. Number one. As far as distributions are concerned, the sound subset architecture is atrociously bad. Way too confusing. Anybody who goes in, Pulse has solved some of that, but the problem with Pulse is it crashes. Jack is great for musicians that use, you know, stu home studios. However, it's a pain in the ass to set up. Also, really good, but it's not documented. OSS documented but not really used so you're kind of fucked one way or the other so which way do you go Pulse was supposed to solve that issue by checking both OSS and also and Jack and whatever so random sounds of architecture there is floating around for Linux so there's that number two this will catch some flack. Package managers. Pa way too many file extensions and RPM, Slack, Deb, you know, TarGZ, Gent2 install from Compile. It's just like, what the hell? I know having one package manager is like touching the third rail in politics, but it's ridiculous ridiculously stupid that someone has to jump through hoops in different kernel versions and different GCC libraries and different versions of, you know, Grub and all this other crap just to get Linux to work because we have no standards around anything. That brings me to my third issue right there. Standards in and of itself. We have no standard release cycles for most distributions. Some are yearly, some are whenever they're done, some are every two years, some are every six months, some are every year. And the list goes on the fucking on. God forbid we have some standards in cadence. As much as that word annoys the Linux community because they know where I got it from. The guy's right, nonetheless. Now whatever that time frame is based around, I don't care. I don't care if it's Ubuntu. I don't care if it's Fedora. I don't care if it's every two years like Debian is going to be, apparently. And that leads me to my fifth point. I could care the fuck less about what distro you're running. Use what works for you. Don't sit there and bash a user's distro. Don't sit, sit there and bash the user's operating system. You know, you have people calling uh, Microsoft... Uh, Spokesman, I guess, would be the best term. You know, Microsoft shills, which there are those, but then there are some that are, you know, micro shit, micro shaft, micro with a money sign, soft, you know. Then you got people checking out apples and calling it the cult of jobs and all this other stuff. It's stupid. Because some would say Linux in and of itself, at some point, becomes less about business model and more of a philosophy. And that's where the whole GNU and Linux thing derives. I tend to be more into the Linux camp. I'm a practicality user. I could care two shits about naming conventions. Because 
Richard Solomon doesn't feel that GNU got the credit for the what they've been trying to do for the last 25 plus years and get a damn kernel to work because it's not open sourced or free software or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's those type of floss people and I understand what he's saying about freedoms. It's free as in free speech, not as in price. And that is perfectly fine. I get what he means by that. What I disagree with him about is that everyone does not have to conform to that point of view. And this is the thing that the Linux community is all, oh, it's all about choice. It's all about choice. Yet when someone decides on a distro for a new user, be it Ubuntu, Mint, whatever, they get flame baited if they ask a simple fucking question sometimes. Oh, go Google it. Oh, go to the CLI. They're a new user. They're coming from more than likely from Windows or OS X. You have to use a GUI. I, I know that's going to be a hard concept for some of these Linux elitist floss ass fucks that don't get it, that need to get their head impaled out of their own ass. But the simple fact of the matter is there's other ways of doing shit. So put up or shut up on the choice and just be glad that they're actually using a version of Linux instead of Windows or OS X. There's an idea. Maybe the Linux community should actually start thinking about that. Not worrying about naming conventions. Not worrying about what distro you're using because it sucks. So what I said to the Linux community is these are the five reasons that Linux is, is where it is because the 10% vocal minority makes the normal 90% practicality users look like jackasses and elitists with people that have their heads up their asses. And for people that, you know, bash on Apple all the friggin' time, you guys are the worst. You guys are worse than the Apple fanboys. You're worse than the e-meeks. You guys are worse than the Microsoft shills and all this other stuff. You guys shoot yourself in your own foot. So take this as I'm trying to actually help you guys understand what is wrong with the community. What is wrong with your di distros, flavors, the operating system, and all these components in general. I'm not saying this will fix everything, but this will sure as hell help.